Uh, thank you, Honorable House Chairperson. As we consider this budget vote, the ACDP is cognizant of the fact that in most developed and developing economies, up to 70% of the jobs created emanates from the small business sector. The critical importance of small businesses, those who seek to destroy or diminish the role of small business, we cannot allow this to take place. The ACDP is aware that the Department of Small Business Development is tasked with the responsibility of leading and coordinating an integrated approach to the promotion and development of in an enabling legislative and policy environment to increase employment and reduce poverty and inequality. However, with a three-year budget extending to 2024-25 of over 7.8 billion, over four programs, this is easier said than done. If the values of this department, such as integrity and professionalism, are to be upheld, then it is important that some of the recommendations of the committee are fast-tracked, some of these being the National Small Enterprise Amendment Bill, together with the mergers and necessary organograms must be concluded speedily. The outstanding forensic investigation must be brought to finality and the investigation report of the Auditor General must be made public so that where necessary corrective action can be taken and consequence management applied. House Chair, it is unacceptable that CIFA has not supplied the committee with a list of cooperatives that were funded from 1 April, 2021 to the 31st of March, 2022. And using the Papaya Act as an excuse will not hold water. We must remember that the National Lottery Board refused to re release the names of beneficiaries citing the Papaya Act, but when they were forced to disclose, it was then that the rot and corruption was revealed. As I conclude the ACDP on calls on the small business sector, not to be used as government's agents to flout section 12 to c constitutional rights of their employees by implementing vaccine mandates in the workplace when science shows that both the vaccinated and unvaccinated can contract COVID. And Professor Shabir Mahdi, who advised the Corona Command Council, is on record for saying that the vaccine drive did not work because vaccines don't prevent infection. In addition, he said that those with previous infections have as much pro protection as anyone who has had an mRNA jab. It's time to stop the madness. I thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member.